Hi everybody. This is going to be a really quick video. I just want to talk about this little baby right here that I just got. Uh, I had one of these a while ago with a way nicer lens situation. Um, this is the 80mm f2.8, which is a great, great lens. I wanted a faster lens because I like shooting stuff in lower light and just getting a broader depth of field. This lens in particular, I'll sh pop an image up right now, looks like trash. Um, the viewing and the taking lens both have like almost like pitted glass. It's so bad. The, um, the coating is all messed up. The scratches are pretty deep. But I went out the day that the lens came in the mail. I got off work. I got it out of the box. I cleaned it as qu quickly and carefully as possible just to see because at first I thought well maybe that's like just some like a little bit of fungus which now I'm, I'm thinking now um, that it might be fungus was on the lens and then it got killed but it left scarring plus the scratches that are there which are deeper than cleaning marks but yeah I'll put it up again check this out it's so wild uh, but it was sunny yesterday, so I was like, this would be a good test to just be able to shoot out, see if there's, like, extra flaring, any weird distortion, any marks on the film, whatever. I've never... I've shot with some beat-up lenses, but not anything like this before. But I got a pretty good deal on it, so I was like, well, I'll just see, and if it's absolute garbage, then I might return it. I might use it for something else. But I'm going to post some images that... I shot yesterday, developed at home. I was actually pretty pleased. Like, the only issues actually with the film were my own errors, which was just... I shot at 5.6, 1 one twenty fifth of a second the whole time, except for a few shots I did at 2.8, at 1 60th of a second. But yeah, I, I don't use a meter, so I just went out and I should have shot a little darker, a little bit more, but I didn't do that. So some of the, the images are a little bit blown out in areas where there should be more detail. It's okay. For a test roll though, and to test this lens, I am very pleased with how they turned out. The rear elements of the lens, I mean, if you've looked into scratch lenses, I think haze is a bit more intense, but lenses that have blemishes on the front elements, you can generally get away with shooting almost in any situation without much effect on the on the final image with just the damage on the front elements with the rear elements you want to make sure those are as clear as possible so i've heard of lenses that even have like a huge crack or just almost like a nail went through it and somehow just because the rear lens is in good shape there you can barely even see it on the final image so that's something to look out for um i'm actually really happy that i got this for how cheap i got it and I'm just going to post some images now. They are surprisingly nice, and I hope you like them. I do. They're just test images, so there's nothing fancy. I just walked around a couple blocks around the neighborhood and, yeah, photographed some. And, yeah, here they are. And that's it. I would just say if you come across a lens that you're excited about and it looks kind of beat up, I know a lot of those, like, Canadian, like, Summicron C's or whatever, the 40 millimeter lenses and the 28 millimeter millimeter lenses for Leica M, the small ones. Um, I know a lot of those end up getting like the white bubbles around the edges and haze and whatever, but I think this is a really good indicator that they'll actually perform quite well even if they have some blemishes, uh, even if they look kind of extreme. Um, the only thing I will say actually really quick that I'm a little bummed about is, and I'm just gonna not try. Um, I was gonna try to take off the retaining ring here, the nameplate, and get the front element out and just kind of give it a little soak and cleaning on both. But this top, the viewing like ring right here, this whole part will unscrew on both of them, but the actual nameplate is like wedged in there and I don't know how to get it out. This one has some dinging on it and this bottom one seems like it should unscrew. I put some a little bit of lighter fluid in there and I didn't want to force it too much but it wouldn't it wouldn't budge so it's just gonna be this way and that's okay and I'm still excited about it and yeah look look all over the World Wide Web pick up lenses that you might not think 
are like, you know, the best, greatest investment. Because you might save yourself a buck and still be able to make really great images. So look out for budget lenses. And here are the images. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.